ever used Wapato Jail and turn it into a homeless shelter? Not over yet. And tonight, there's a new twist. Yeah, the late, latest owner says that he is on the verge of tearing that building down, but he doesn't really want to. Our Lisa Balick is live in North Portland to explain why. Lisa? Well, the new owner says he does not want this to become a building that is not going to help the homeless. He says he's going to try at least one more time to plea for government leaders to turn it into a homeless shelter. This isn't a political issue. This is a community issue, a moral issue, a citizen issue. And yet we need the political leadership to help rise, to help work with people like me and others who want to do something about the unfortunate folks that are sleeping on our streets. Portland real estate developer Jordan Schnitzer is the new owner of the Wapato building. He's looking at applying for city permits in just two weeks to tear it down. But first, one last try to get government leaders to use it as a homeless shelter. Maybe the experts are right. It's the right facility in the wrong location, but it's here and it's built and it's paid for. Former County Commissioner Loretta Smith, now running for a Portland City Council seat, is also a fan of a homeless shelter here. Wapato is an opportunity, not an albatross. This is something that we can use to help people who are unsheltered. 1,700 people are unsheltered on our streets. We can help them today. We can house anywhere between 550 and 1,000 residents right here here at Wapato. Smith's opponent in the city council race is Joanne Hardesty, a former state lawmaker and former head of the Portland NAACP. She says Wapato is clearly a jail, not a place to warehouse the homeless. While I respect private entities stepping up and trying to provide solutions, they should become partners in actually helping us get permanent affordable housing not developing tent cities that are far away from services. The last hope to keep this brand new building from being torn down is perhaps a proposal with funding from the private sector. Zoning is also another issue out here. This is zoned as an industrial area, but if this building is torn down, it could become a distribution center. There are a lot of them around this area. But that fight is not over yet, that's for sure. Live in North Portland, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News. Thanks.